Hey, buddy. Hey. Hello. Wow, you're kind of nice for a racer. This is the very first field survey that I'm conducting as part of a brand new research project I'm working on along with Dr. Kays at the NC Museum of Natural Sciences. The goal of this project is to compare snake observations from the citizen science platform iNaturalist with the snake observations that I make on my surveys to try and figure out if certain species are over or underrepresented in the citizen science data set. I'll have 90 minutes at each of my field sites to document as many snakes as I can. Okay, everybody, this is the first snake capture of the study right here. Now, I could not get the actual capture part on video because, as you can probably tell, this is a black racer, which is one of the fastest snakes that we have here in North Carolina. And this is a really big one as well. Now, I did not expect a racer to be the first snake we would find today. These are obviously pretty large bodied snakes and they're also, we think, relatively abundant. So maybe the reason that we don't see these as often in the citizen science data is more a result of their speed and their cryptic behavior than a lack of abundance. And that's exactly the kind of question that we're trying to answer in our survey. Now this individual in particular is very, very angry about being handled. You can see he's repeatedly biting me, which means he's probably pretty stressed out so we are gonna let him go. But I am so glad that we're getting some snake observations already. But we'll go ahead and get this beautiful snake right back in the wild. Thanks for the help, buddy. Now surveying for snakes can be pretty tricky business because as we all know, snakes are very secretive reptiles. And so that means that when I conduct surveys, I'm implementing a wide variety of search techniques to maximize my chances of finding species with different life histories. For instance, under a log like this, I might find nothing. Or I might find something that's fossorial in nature, like a ring neck snake or a DK's brown snake. Whereas while I'm walking around surveying visually with my eyes, I have a greater chance of encountering those kind of active, larger bodies above ground snakes, like the black racer we just found. Understanding the differences between what's really here and what we think is here based on citizen science data is really important if we want to use that citizen science data to make conservation and management decisions. Now another thing that can be challenging for designing experiments in general, but especially for snake surveys, is introducing the element of randomness. I can't just sample the best places to find snakes when I'm conducting my surveys, or else I'm biasing my own results and rendering them useless for comparing to other data sets. So to help account for that, I've actually divided our study site into acre-sized grid cells, which you can probably see right now, we're in cell 313, and that red dot means we've already sampled 291, and you can see this green dot is where we found the racer snake. And what that will allow me to do is sample pretty much every available habitat type throughout my study sites. And I'm also scrambling the order in which I visit my sites and the habitats within them based on time of day to make sure that that doesn't play a role in what I actually find. Hey, you're not a snake. <laughs> You're cute though. Hello. Wow, you're kind of nice for a racer. You, you might want to bite me, but you're okay. Yeah, sweet. Okay, everyone, we're here at our second site of the day, and I've actually never seen this species here. Look at this. What do you know? It is yet another black racer snake. Once again, out on the crawl, which is not surprising because these are active diurnal foragers, and especially where we are right now, we're in a riparian area, so I would guess that these racer snakes are probably hunting frogs today, but also, you know, rodents or lizards or whatever else it might find because these are very generalistic snakes. We only have about four minutes of survey effort left at this location, and I really did think we were gonna go back empty-handed, um, but fortunately, we were able to make this amazing racer observation, um, and so we will not leave this site without some data, but we'll go ahead and get this beautiful animal right back in its stump hole. Thank you so much. Have a good day.
Okay everyone, we've got a severe thunderstorm rolling in now and we're under a tornado watch so I've gone ahead and paused the timer and I think that might be my cue to take shelter for today. The survey was almost over anyways so there's no real problems as far as data collection. But before I go, I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining me on today's field survey. I really hope that you enjoyed learning a little more about my research project and some of the snakes that we found, which were all racers, but still pretty cool. Thanks so much for watching, and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.